Today's about understanding what's in a person's heart. You see, when we look at a person's heart, we realize that there's a lot that could be inside of that person's heart. I mean, when we talk about the heart, the heart's where our feelings come from, but also the heart's also where our actions come from. You know, sometimes there's things that have happened to us where we, you know, didn't know about them. Like maybe there was a bike crash um, that caused someone to be afraid of something. You know, maybe there was something inside that person's heart that caused them to act a certain way because of something that happened to them. You know, my son is uh, of a, afraid of big, mean dogs. It's what scares him. Um, and it happened to be every time he gets around a dog, he starts to cry. Does he hate dogs? No, he's terrified of them because of something that had happened to him in his life. That's what's in his heart. Or maybe you just had someone that was mean to you in your life. Maybe you just had someone that was mean to you in your life and that person uh, caused you to be the way you are. And, and that's oftentimes what's happened to us is because of the things that have happened to us, it shapes our heart, it shapes our actions. And, and that's really what I want you looking at today. You're gonna start by simply answering a question. Why are people mean? I want you to click this link here and it's gonna take you to a jam board. And I just want you to tell me, give me one or two thoughts, give me a post-it. Why are people mean? After you've done that, I want you to take some time to watch this video. This video is from Zootopia, and it's the scene where Gideon Gray comes at Bunny Cop and does some pretty mean stuff. And I, I want you to tell me what you think is in Gideon Gray's heart. What do you think is there? And I want you to post a couple of things. I, I want to see this jam board kind of light up today. Once you've done that, you're going to take some time to read chapters three through five. I forgot to parenthesis here, but I want you to put, take some time to put chapters three through five in your mind. And as you're reading, I want you to think, why is Judd the way he is? I mean, what made him this way? If you come across some evidence that proves why you think maybe Judd is the way he is toward dogs and people, I want you to make a note of it. And when you're done reading, I want you to post here. I want you to post one thing that maybe explains why Judd is the way he is. If you could provide proof, that's really what I want to see too. Proof showing that this is why Judd Travers is such a jerk. And then at the very end, I want you to watch this video. This video is when Gideon Gray comes back years later after the bunny has become a cop and been successful, but she just decides to come back home. And, and, and what's his response? And I want you to answer the question, why is Gideon Gray the way he is? You're going to rethink your response. I want you to find your post-it if you can and re and change it. Why is why was why was he this way at the very beginning? What was in his heart? What had changed throughout that? And this video kind of reveals what was really going on in his heart. So that's kind of where we're going today. It's kind of free flowing. I'm going to be popping in and out, uh, working with some people, but that's your goal today with Shiloh.